Welcome to Office 2010 video project number six. Hey, in this project, we're going to just take a brief look at hyperlinks and saving as and creating a web page. All right, first, we're going to open Windows Explorer using our keyboard shortcut Window E. By now, you should realize that the window key is between Control and Alt. Put your jump drive in. I've already put my jump drive in. I'm going to expand it. Go to Highline. I'm going to go to Winter 216. Class Notes is where we're going to go, and then click on Word. We're actually going to create a file from scratch here. All right, how do I open up Word? I'm going to click on the blue W, or go to the Start menu. I'm going to hold Control and roll my mouse to zoom in. All right, two things. Creating hyperlinks, so if you click on it, it will go to some website or open up an appropriate email program and send an email. Or hyperlinks can go to other parts of the documents or open up other files. And then secondarily, we will do a Save As Web Page. And Save As Web Page is kind of silly because you never make us a web page using Word or Excel. Oh, but actually you can. I actually create lots of web pages. They're just single file, single page web pages. Like in Word, I might have an announcement, or I, I do my syllabus for my class. I create it in Word, and then I just do Save As Web Page, and it converts it to the HTML that uh, a browser can use to display. In Excel, you can use Save As Web Page, and you know, like you have a budget or something. Now, once you create the web page, uh, you have to give it to your website administrator, the people that have access to the server computer, and they actually post it. All right, let's just uh, do a funny little uh, uh, boomerang party. We're going to do a boomerang party uh, poster. I'm such a bad speller. That's amazing. Boomerang party uh, win. Um, I'm going to insert today's date just because I'm lazy. Insert. Um, date and time. Now I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut for this Alt, and then I see an N up there, N, and then I see a D for date and time, so ND, Alt ND. So if you insert dates a lot, like you're typing letters all the time, that's a good one to know, Alt ND. So Boomerang Party. Uh, Billy Martin Park. Uh, Oakland, California. All right, this is just a little silly thing to show you how to uh, um, uh, save it as a web page works. Now I want to insert a picture. I'm going to go to clip art. Actually, no, I'm going to go to Google. Much better. I'm going to show you how to download a picture from Google. I'm going to go to some browser. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to go to, oh, images. I'm going to type uh, boomerangs. Wow, all sorts of boomerangs. Hmm. Oh, look, there's one I made. That's a design. I used to. One of the things I used to do was I, d I ran a boomerang manufacturing company. That's called the Deuce Boomerang. All sorts of boomerangs. Wow. <coughs> okay. Well, let's try and download this one. I'm going to right click <coughs> and it says save picture as. Not all pictures that you find online um, can be downloaded. Some are protected. But if you see save as picture, I'm going to say save as picture. Now I'm going to direct it um, to my Highline Winter 216 class notes. I'm in Word, so I'm going to click right there. And I'm going to definitely give it a better name than that. And then I click Enter. All right, now I can close this. Now I'm going to go to Insert Picture, Navigate, always navigating. I'm going to Class Notes and then Word. And sure enough, there it is. Notice what did we talk about before? When you're saving as, or opening, or inserting, it's uh, filtered um, because there's lots of other files in there, but 
we're not inserting a picture won't allow you to insert a Word document, so we only see whatever pictures are there. All right, I'm going to double click. All right, just as we saw in the last video, I'm going to point to the edge and click and drag. Now I'm going to click somewhere at the end. If you can't quite get to the end like your cursor is right there, remember our keyboard shortcut, end. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I want to put a hyperlink. I'm going to say, um, go here to learn about booms. Now hyperlink, OK, I want to do a couple things. I'm going to put a colon and then enter. Now, one way to put a um, hyperlink in is just to type the website, www.gel-boomerang.com. It's programmed, if you hit enter, to put make it a link. I want to do something else here. I want to highlight this thing right here. And I want to actually put a uh, hyperlink inside of these words. We'll see how the hyperlinks work in just a moment. Um, and the keyboard shortcut, well, you can insert, if I can even remember, I know all the keyboard shortcuts, insert, hyperlink, where's hyperlink? I'm sure it's not, oh, there it is, right there. Control K, so you can go there, or you can, you know, the logic is, the, the way they made these ribbons, <laughs> if you're going to insert, <laughs> excuse me, insert something like a picture or a hyperlink, it's on the insert uh, ribbon. I'm going to Control K, and then I'm going to type www.gel-boomerang.com. Notice you can display text here or down there. Uh, I mean, sorry, D display text here is what you see. The address is down here. You could also put a screen tip. And I want to put a screen tip here because you might not know that these words are a link. Screen tip, oh, OK. something. I put link to go to gel boom site. Fi and by the way, you can open well, um, in Word, when you save as a web page, these links work. But in Word, maybe you're sending a, a uh, you know, an email or something, which this, this will work. This control K thing works like uh, in various applications. Uh, but you can um, go follow it inside a word it's not like a website where you click on it right you know you can't click on it but notice the screen tip it says control click so if i hold control and click it goes to it i did that too fast if you hold control then you see that little finger and then it goes to that website this is a website of my old company it's an old website uh, last time i updated was in 2006 and i'm shooting this in 2010 almost 11 uh, the company I used to ran was right near the beginning of selling stuff online in 94, I think it was. All right, I'm going to close this. I want to put a hyperlink inside this picture, too, just like uh, and when you go to a website, you click on a picture and it goes somewhere. Now, once I have this picture selected, I go to Insert Hyperlink. Be sure, if I ever ask you on a test, if I say put a link inside the picture, don't click to the side or down here, click on the picture and then Control-K. I'm definitely going to put a screen tip here because you might not know that that picture is a link. And I'm definitely going to click OK. And then down here, address www.gel-boomerang.com. And then click OK. Notice when you ho uh, ho hover your cursor, you can see that joke go, go to gel boom. Uh, it's not giving you that control, but if you call it Let's see, I don't think that'll work here in, in Word. But when we save as a web page, it will. I want to show you uh, hyperlink to do. Oh, we, uh, we're committing a terrible cardinal sin here. Document 1. Not only is that a terrible name, but we haven't saved it yet. So I'm going to hit F12, and I'm going to save it to my class notes. And we're actually going to call this web um, a boomerang party website. All right, so and we're going to our class notes. We're in we're studying Word, so we're going to save it there. Um, and I'm not going to save the uh, create the web page by changing the file type yet. And the reason why is because I want to keep this. Actually, we'll call this. And I'm going to get rid of that space. Boomerang party flyer. You don't want any spaces here. 
boomerang party flyer dot docx and then click save. I'm going to highlight this and do our keyboard shortcut, uh, increase the font size, right? Square bracket, control square bracket. And then I want to center it. You can either go there or control E, control B for bold. This is silly. All I want to show you is the links. I do want to show you, before we save as a web page, which will be pretty cool, I want to show you how to do uh, one other type of link. Let's say, and this is not a good example here because you wouldn't be opening up some file, but maybe you sent a letter about the budget and there was an Excel file and you wanted a link to that. You'd have to send both files together in the same folder, but here's how you do it. I'm going to go look over here in um, Windows Explorer. Notice I used my mouse there. I just happen to have my hand on my mouse. And in the textbook, they talk about switching back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse. Now, usually it's not that healthy to do that. So if your hand is already on the mouse and you're doing stuff, then it was easier for me to there to, in that case, instead of doing Alt-Tab, to just click right there. What I want to do just for kicks is show you that you can link, have a link inside of this uh, file right here to, say, our um, the file we just created in our last uh, video this health food flyer here and that way let's go back over here alt tab right here is going to be the link and I'm going to say open um, project 5 flyer I'm going to highlight this control roll I'm not going to highlight that paragraph mark control K and there it is. I want this one right here, the style. I'm going to double click. Now what happens if I control click? Probably we should right click edit the hyperlink. And I got to put a screen tip here. Um, opens file or something like that. I'm going to click OK, click OK. Now when I control click, it opens that file. That's another type of hyperlink. Now if this is a web page you're putting out to the server, you wouldn't want to do that unless the, it would have to have an, an internet address and that, that wouldn't be appropriate or stored somewhere on the internet. But that's just to illustrate another aspect of uh, a link. All right, now save as web page. I'm going to hit F12. Notice we already are Control S first to save it. And then this is a .docx. I hit F12. I change the file extension. Now there's a couple types of web pages. You definitely don't want this one. This is a Microsoft, uh, uh, the d it doesn't work that well in some browsers. This is the one you want, HTML or HTML. Not the filtered one either, this one. Click on that. And now we will, no matches, there's nothing there. You can see up here I'm in the Word folder, nothing there. Remember when you're saving as or opening or all that kind of stuff, it's the file extension that's like a filter for you to see here. All right, I'm going to click Save. And when I go look in Windows Explorer, notice this doesn't look like a web page, but there's the extension. I'm going to close this. There are going to be two things that are uh, created. There is the file there is a folder associated with it that has a bunch of stuff that uh, goes with this. If you are going to send this to your administrator, you have to send both, and then you make a link to this one only. Again, this is not a class for how to do uh, websites. I'm not very good at it. I can barely do it myself. All right, so now let's see. Notice when I had it open a moment ago, it was still in Word, but when you double click from this location here, it looks just like a web page. It opens up the default browser, and look at that up in the address bar. There is the address, our, our, our system of folders. Now when I click on this, sure enough goes there. I'm going to click the back. I click on this. I click back. Each one of these works. Now I this one right here, this one might work because we're on the, yep, it will because we're on the, uh, the actual computer, but this computer is not connected to the internet, so it wouldn't work if you saved it. All right, um, now I'm going to close this browser here, 
if you need to edit it, since double clicking and opening it opens it in the browser, you have to right click, open with Microsoft Word. And there you have it. All right, that's just a little bit about uh, hyperlinks and uh, saving as a web page. Uh, that's not in our textbook, but be sure you know how to do that. I love to ask questions that we have in our uh, videos that are not in the textbooks on the test. All right, uh, next video we'll do uh, some cool tricks with spell check. See you next video.